What's good people? Welcome back to the video. Today, checking out Bedtime Stories by Ray Shremard featuring The Weeknd. So, we did a weekend video the other day and I basically asked all of you guys to give me suggestions of tracks I haven't heard. We've dived into the majority of The Weeknd shit. Obviously, there's so many features and this is one that caught my eye straight away. Uh, we checked out Drinks On Us by Mike Will Made It. Swaley and The Weeknd were in that and I really enjoyed the sort of the sound they brought along with Future as well, of course. But these two, stylistically, they're sort of similar in the sense of vocals and how they sort of approach shit. Both have crazy range so on and so forth, so, you know, it made sense. So I'm just looking forward to this, man. Is this featuring Slim Jimmy as well? I'm imagining it is. Uh, yeah, man, this one just struck me, so I'm looking forward to it. Before we jump into it, guys, if you're new around here, please drop a sub, we're on the road to 5K, we're trying to hit that as soon as possible. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, description below, and of course, drop a like and a comment on the video as well. I really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's just get into this, man. I've got really high hopes. It's quite a long track as well, so, cheeky bit of a journey, man. Let's jump straight into it. Bedtime stories as well. Interesting title. Maserati. Is it going to be Mike Will Made It on the beat? I'm not trying to tell you bedtime stories. I'm not like those other niggas talking to you. I'm not looking at you, I'm looking right through you. Said I'm not like those other niggas. Already, man, the vocals. Those like claps, I like got rapid claps. really liking it so far it's what i was expecting to be honest just really nice vocals just really high pitch just like who can out pitch each other basically i just love because they are so similar i think the transition between the two is really smooth you know they're both have distinct voices and you can understand who's who but it's just quite smooth i'm loving the production as well that sort of i want to say it's a clap of some sort of kind of rapid clap coming in michael made it always kills it on the beats but it's something a bit different you know just overall i just i can't say i've heard something like this in the sense of the sounds he's chosen to use the lyrics so far uh, I don't want to read you bedtime stories. Uh, falling in love is not your worst nightmare. I'm not sure whether they're just going off the fact that I don't want to read. I don't want to read you bedtime stories. I'm going to keep going. That just made absolutely no sense. Let's keep going. Go ahead and say it. You feel every word that I'm saying. Mm. Honey, some down on a tank. I didn't mean to throw it in your face. Jimmy's holding his own. Why so far what I'm sort of understanding is they're talking about a girl but saying we're not like other guys. We're not gonna read you bedtime stories, we're not gonna fall in love, you know, we're not even gonna kiss. Basically like I like you, but not to the extent of falling in love like some of these other guys want. That's that's the vibe I'm getting so far, and that they're not. Gonna, I don't know who exactly you're reading bedtime stories to. <laughs> to be honest, can't say I've ever done that before, but still, I like I like the overall concept and vibe of it. I'm enjoying it, man. It's nice. They're all sort of like interchanging really smoothly, and it all just seems to be running over quite well. Uh, I'm just enjoying it, man. It's just a nice little vibe. Yeah. Mm. 
Well, I got that in the bag lyrically, I think. I'm loving how sort of light this, this whole thing feels as well. It's got heavy elements, but overall, the production's aiding really well with the vocals. Then the beat kicks back in. Okay guys, that was Bedtime Stories by Ray Shremard and The Weeknd. Uh, I enjoyed that, man. One downfall to it, I think it was way too long, in my personal opinion. Uh, I found myself getting like slightly bored by the end of it, to be honest. I feel like they could have ended it at a certain point. I know the certain point, I can't tell you what minute it was or whatever, but I feel like that last sort of verse, I think it was from Sway Lee, just felt a, a tad bit like irrelevant, in a sense. I feel like it could have just stopped and it was just a bit too long for me. Um, I feel like there's only so much you could do with that, and I feel like it was it was a really good track. I just feel like I just started to get a bit a bit repetitive by the end, and then that beat riding out as well. I was sort of waiting for it to end in a sense. Um, overall, I did really enjoy the track though. Uh, you know, I would listen to it again. That's just the only downfall to it. But overall, I think it was just fantastic. I love a different style of beat. Can't say I'd heard a beat like that. I really wonder if it was a clap or maybe it was some sort of like hand instrument or something. I don't know. But I think Mike Will made it did a really good job on the production, and I think the vocals were fantastic as well. Lyrics well, were pretty cool to run, so I got the hang of it quite quickly, which I which I enjoy because sometimes I don't. So uh, I think I got the overall the overall gist of it, and I thought it was just a cool, fun sort of concept to have on a track. Like I said, I think all three of them interchange really well between vocals, and uh, I think it all just sounded really smooth. You know, the transitions between stuff was really nice. Uh, the weekend sort of hook I really enjoyed. Just a just a nice track, man. Thank you to everyone for telling me to check this out. Any more weekend stuff? Chuck in the comments below that I haven't heard. Already Ray Shremard. Or anyone else. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, drop a like. If you drop a match at the point you want to see me again, then please drop a sub. Follow my Twitter, Instagram, description below. If you have any requests for any weekend race swimmer, like I just said, or Mike will made it, chuck in the comments below. But for the meantime, guys, I've been Charlie. This has been Bedtime Stories, and I'll see you in the next one.